I just wanted to do an update on the on the uh, recirc and the gray water input into the reception cell. So this is our reception cell. It's made out of uh, two by tracks, which is the plastic wood that doesn't rot. Made a little handle here and a little hatch, and we can lift that up, and we can see what's going on here. So that right there is where, as you've all seen in a previous video, where the gray water enters the reception cell and thus into the, the gray water planters. Got a little screen there. Um, that really should be a copper plate so it doesn't rust. Right now it's like a galvanized double up, doubled up screen. And that's just to prevent any kind of, uh, you know, like large debris to, from going into the, uh, the rock bulbs of the planter. You can see right below there, it's kind of hard to see, but right below that screen is a uh, three quarter inch gravel. And that is the top of our rock bulb. Um, and that was detailed in the gray water series. So you can see on the, uh, the input here or the, where the gray water comes in, we got a uh, pantyhose filter on there as well. Uh, that's kind of like a double whammy. The pantyhose is like Earthship old technology. That's what they used to use, but I think it's good. Um, that combined with the screen, I mean, you're pretty much, I think, you know, the two together, you're never going to get any kind of particles or very little amount of particle particulate into the planter, clog up those bulbs, those rock bulbs. So I'm pretty psyched about that combination. Um, I just put a little coupler on there and used a, uh, you know, with the table saw, just cut out a little notch in that pipe. You can see that, that, um, that clamp is just sitting right in that notch, holding that pantyhose on tight. And this guy right here, as you've seen in a previous video, this guy, that is our recirc. And I just put a little 90 fitting on it so that the water, instead of shooting out against the side of the uh, reception cell, it shoots straight down um, towards the rock bulb. So let me go turn that on. I'll show you what that looks like. This planter is like tomato central right now. So you can see you got tomatoes growing all the way up into the, well, where the ceiling will be, growing up to the insulation into the trusses. Those are all coming down now. Not gonna keep plant tomatoes here any longer, even though love tomatoes. Not good for a, uh, we're gonna be away for a while. Okay, so you can see that water from the recirc shooting out. What's also kind of nice about this, it's kind of like aerating the water too because that fitting kind of sprays the water out instead of just shoots it in a stream. So I'm kind of down with that. It's a little bit loud, but with the cover on, not so loud. Okay, so I don't know if you guys remember in the previous video. If not, you should go check out the, uh, the Gray Water Planner series. But underneath the entire planner, so we got, well, the bottom of it, we got our big rocks, our five to 12 inch rocks for the rock bulbs, and then we got the three quarter inch gravel on top of that, which is what you can see through the screen. And then on top of that gravel, there was filter fabric. Now that's something that I decided to do because on top of that, you got sand and then your dirt. I didn't want the sand to fall down into the uh, three quarter inch rock bulb. So I put the filter fabric down, but I was experimenting, it was an experiment, and I had the filter fabric um, you know, underneath the, uh, the reception cell here. What that was doing though, that, that filter fabric got all clogged up and mucked up and it caused this reception cell to back up. And that was bad. It was creating a lot of smell. The, the gray water smelled because of all that muck. So I just want to state that there is filter fabric underneath the whole length of the planter, underneath the dirt, the sand, right at the uh, bottom of the sand, separating it from the the three quarter inch rock, but not in the reception cell. I just cut the filter fabric out of the reception cell, um, put this pantyhose filter on, and problem solved. Water smells, just has a light odor, if nothing at all, maybe after we cycle more of that mucky water out of here, it'll have no smell at all. And, um, and the flow, it doesn't back up, it flows right in there. You just saw with the recirc, it was just flowing right in. So, that's that. Let's close this. And I should also mention what that was doing. Man, I wish I had a video of this. It was disgusting. All that muck 
was getting caught in the filter for the uh, going back to the, the, the toilet. So when that gray water gets pumped out of the uh, end of the planter here, it goes through this filter and then out to the toilet. And this thing was just mucked up, like dead black. It was gross. So I just, you can see here, the filter is nice and clean. I just replaced it a couple days ago. And uh, hopefully by uh, getting rid of that filter fabric in the reception cell, that should also make this filter last a lot longer.